another Swift tutorial. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how we can add alerts and action sheets in our iOS app. If you're excited for the video, smash that like button below and let's jump right into it with Xcode. So let's fire up Xcode, create a new project. We're going to stick with a single view application, call it whatever you'd like. We'll call it alert and sheet. Save it. We're going to throw it on our desktop. And first and foremost, before we actually get into the meat of alerts and action sheets, we need to do some setup code to actually see our demo. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a button onto our app. And when we hit the button, we're going to show either alerts or action sheets as we go through the video. So start by going to a view controller or the view controller that Xcode actually created for us in the template and add an action in here and call it did tap button. And let's go to our storyboard and actually add a button. So let's change the background color of this to be black. Let's come here and add a button. And let's right click the view controller and drag from our action that we've added to the button. Like so. We're going to stick with touch up inside. And let's add some constraints to our button so it actually stays centered in this case. We'll come down here, hit this, horizontally and vertically in container. And we can head back to our view controller, hit command R, and we should see our app, which has a black background and a button. In just a second. Cool. So let's start talking about alerts and action sheets. We can actually close this right panel. So alerts, if you're not familiar, and action sheets, uh, alerts are the pop-ups you see in the middle of your iPhone screen with one or two or three buttons. Action sheets are sheets that scroll up from the bottom that also have buttons. Uh, so we're going to create those and look at how we can configure them. So we're going to actually divide up our code. So create two functions. The first one is going to be show alert. And the second one is going to be show action sheet. So action sheets and alerts are actually both shown via the same uh, user component, user interface component, and that component is a UI alert controller. So the name is a little misleading because an alert controller actually can also show an action sheet, uh, but that's what it's called. So we're going to come in here and create an alert. And we're going to call it a UI alert controller. We're going to initialize it with a title, a message, a style. So the title, let's just do title, message, we're going to do hello world. And the style is actually where you specify if you want an alert or an action sheet. So we're going to do an alert. We also want to add buttons to our alert. And the way we do that is alert add action. So they're buttons, but they're actually called UI alert actions. And we're going to create a UI alert action in here. And we're going to create it with a title, a style, and a handler. So the title, we're going to do dismiss. So there's three styles in here. Default, cancel, and destructive. Cancel implies this is your cancel button. Default is a normal button that you're adding. And destructive is when you see a red option on an alert or an action sheet. Oftentimes, it's for things that are not undoable. So if you're like deleting something or some destructive action. So we're going to stick with cancel. And the handler is a completion block that is going to get fired when you press this button. So for now, we're just going to print out tapped cancel. Well, actually tapped dismiss. And lastly, we want to present this alert controller. And we want to present it with an animation. So this, uh, this alert or action sheet is actually treated just like a view controller because it actually inherits from that class. Um, but let's see this in action. Let's take this function and call it when we press our button action. Hit command R to build and run the app. And once we click this, we see we get our alert. Once we hit dismiss, we see we get our printed out stuff here. So don't mind my Siri going off. But now what we need to do is do the other variant of this, which is an action sheet. So let's actually copy all this code and throw it in here. 
Let's actually rename this to be more cognizant of what we're doing. Let's call this action sheet, action sheet, and action sheet. And of course, we need to change the style of this to be an action sheet. Before we run, let's take this function and put it in here, which is where we're going to call it when we hit the button. Hit Command R to build and run. Hit this, and we see our action sheet. So we see some things got printed out here. This is irrelevant for this video, but this is uh, some constrained stuff. But if we go back to our simulator and hit cancel, we'll see we get the same print statement that we uh, had put in for the alert. So that's how you add a basic alert and action sheet. Let's add a couple more uh, actions or buttons to see what they look like. So we're going to do this for the alert and the action. So let's start with just copy and pasting them. Changing this to action sheet and talk about a couple of nuances. So we already have action sheet up here. So let's just start with this one. So an action sheet and actually also an alert can only have one cancel and one destructive button. The other uh, button actions or alert actions have to be default and that basically you need to change in the style so let's actually let's create a, dis a destructive one called delete and the rest will be default let's run this and see what it looks like if we hit this we see we get a bunch of things here. We get this delete, we get these two actions. And if I'm not mistaken, because I haven't done this in a while, if we change the order of this, let's say we put destructive at the end, we should see destructive move down. If I'm not mistaken, iOS 13 might have changed it, but yeah, as I thought, so basically the order that you add these actions with cancel being, being an exception because cancel is always at the bottom, will change the order of the UI alert actions as they come into this action sheet. So that's important to keep in mind. The other thing I'll mention here is if you do have duplicate cancels or actions, or sorry, destruct, destructive buttons, uh, your app will actually crash when you hit the button and you'll get an error. Excuse my antivirus. You'll get an error saying um, you can't have duplicates. Uh, lastly, the look and feel of this action sheet is this default one that iOS gives us. And if you want to customize it, there's a bunch of uh, third party libraries out there to have action sheets that look like the one, let's say, in the Twitter app or Spotify. So I encourage you to take a look at those. But for the sake of this video, we're going to stick with the default. And let's change the function up here to be the alert one to see what alerts look like. All the same rules apply about duplicate cancel types, so let's change these to be destructive, defaults, default. Let's do one, two, delete, and let's build and run. Hit this, and you see that we have the buttons in the same order that we said uh, applies for action sheets. The other thing to notice is this alert just kind of comes up by popping up, which looks very default as iOS does it. There are other libraries, like I mentioned, for action sheets, also for alerts. The one that's pretty popular is called SCL Alert View. So I encourage you to take a look at that. Uh, what else can we do in here? So handlers we've talked about. These are the basic ways um, that alerts and actions action sheets are created. We see the buttons here are stacked. Um, if we only want two things, two buttons in here, we don't need them to be vertically stacked. And iOS, aka the system, will handle putting them side by side for us. So if we actually get rid of these two actions and run it again, we will see that the two actions are next to each other. And of course, we can put in a longer, uh, a longer message here and a longer title. But that basically does it. That's how you can create a alert and an action sheet in Swift for iOS. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys learned and enjoyed the video. Uh, hit that like button if you haven't done so already. Subscribe if you're new. I do daily Swift videos. Comment if you have any questions, concerns, feedback, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.